perception of the uh, wine business during this emergency is that unfortunately it's uh, changing all the rules of engagement that uh, importers and distributors and uh, trade customers like restaurants and wine stores have uh, used so far so it's going to change a lot dram and dramatically the way the wine business works at least here in america the way that is going to change our world is probably going to start from the fact that wine is part of a social life Obviously, this emergency is changing what a social life really means for all of us. And therefore, especially the aspects of wine consumption that uh, are um, related to enjoying wine in company, and so mostly the restaurant business, they're going to be impacted dramatic, dramatically. <music> My job has changed in the sense that um, I work a lot with, in, with uh, distributors and so I work with them on the marketplace and so my, my job, my work usually involves traveling a lot and so there is no traveling to be done lately and there won't be any traveling to be done probably for the next few months and um, so that's the major impact for at least for my own business and then obviously with a lot of of, of trade customers closed, especially in the wine, uh, in the restaurant side of things, um, I don't see any of the old activities like events, wine dinners, wine tastings happening anytime soon. What can be done to to uh, to cope with this? Um, I think we will all have to adapt to a world where there is going to be less social interaction. That's going to be a major thing for all of us in the wine industry. And um, basically, it's, it's, I don't think just shifting the mindset into the online world is going to be enough. There is going to be a lot happening online and there is a major risk that uh, small players will get lost. But uh, I think the only way it's going to be to find a way to, uh, to keep in contact with your customers, with customers in general, and trying to keep them engaged. Uh, it's, at least in the short term, that's the only thing we can all do. I haven't really used much my social media because of all this noise that is happening. So um, I wanted to take a break from it and uh, only posted a, a few things that I thought it was interesting to share. Uh, I do plan to increase my activity on it and uh, I just wanted to wait for all the noise to come down a little bit. The way we promote wine is going to change in the sense that uh, obviously from a communication standpoint we will have to rely more and more on, uh, on the new technologies and in terms of promoting it from a sales perspective it's going to be very tricky because uh, there's going to be a lot of activity shifting into uh, off-premise so wine shops but also large chains and so the wineries, the producers that will have the financial resources to support especially large uh, chains of uh, wine stores or grocery stores or uh, supermarkets and things like that and will have the opportunity to provide them with the tools uh, and the financial support to uh, promote their products then they will probably uh, be in a better place. The smaller winemaker, the smaller wineries will have a much more difficult time to uh, engage on those activities and will have probably to rely on, on their importers and, uh, and distributors, which will probably have to allocate uh, different resources to the larger wineries and less resources to the, uh, to the smaller wineries. Um, as an importer of Italian wine, um, I uh, my sales have been changing yes most of my wines unfortunately are where available on restaurants because i focus mostly on the native grapes of italy 
So I've been seeing lately a few orders for simple things like a Chianti or a, or a, or a Pinot Grigio or a, a, a mostly monovarietal wines, more complicated items, more complicated wines like, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, a Boca from Alto Piemonte or a Refosco from Friuli have, have been a bit more difficult to move. Um, and so, yes, my sh business is shifting definitely off-premise, but uh, unfortunately my pre-COVID-19 business was mostly on-premise. So, shuffling that, it's not super easy and super fast to do. Unfortunately, because of the laws in the US, I'm not allowed to sell directly to, uh, to product customers, so to consumers, and so uh, that's something that um, unfortunately I'm not allowed to do. I don't think this emergency, emergency is going to shift the consumption uh, more to domestic wines. I think we will still see uh, a decent amount of consumption for imported wines, keep in mind that in the US, uh, two thirds of the consumption it's always been in the last 45 years uh, about domestic wines and one third about imported wines and I don't think that's going to change much. Um, although we will see <coughs> less um, uh, esoteric wines being consumed for sure, probably uh, there is going to be even more selection along the, the supply chain and wine stores, especially the larger ones will carry uh, more of the you know, back to basics kind of wines, again Pinot Grigio, Prosecco, Chianti, Valpolicella, something basic, something simple. Um, and it's going to be much less uh, for, uh, for more esoteric wines, more um, difficult find the wines to, to, to find and to, and to sell to the final consumer. But I think the proportion of domestic and imported wines is going to, same, uh, going to, see, to be the same. I'm working more and more with my distributors to find a way to engage um, our off-premise customers with uh, um, some sort of online tastings or events like that. I don't know if that's going to be a long-term strategy. Quite honestly, this is what we are doing right now. Uh, and probably in the medium term, what we will try to do is to, once you know people will be able to travel again, We'll, we will try to bring um, winemakers in the US and do events at wine shops and things like that until the restaurant business will be able to uh, go back to not so much the normal before the COVID-19 but to some sort of normal um, business uh, then we will have to rely on the off-premise channel more and more. Thank you for this opportunity. I hope you guys are all doing well and I hope to see you soon.